So I'm outside of St Mary Le Beau Church in Cheapside in the City of London. Uh, this of course is the famous church, St Mary Le Beau, where they ring the Bow Bells. Now Bow Bell is famous because within the sound of Bow Bells, if you're born there, then you are a true Cockney. Now, the sound of Bow Bells in the 19th century used to spread from Southwark to Hackney. But the last time it was measured, which was in 2012, it didn't go that far because there were obviously very many other noises getting in the way, traffic and uh, buildings, etc, etc. So 2012, it was measured to go as far as Brick Lane in Stepney. So they're going to start ringing the bells from that tower up there. And I'm going to see how far the sound extends to see where the true Cockneys actually are these days. So will it go as far as Brick Lane and Stepney? We've yet to see. My hearing isn't great, but I'll do my best. I'll keep the sound recording on and see just how far the sound of Bow Bells reaches these days in 2023. And there it is, the bells are starting ringing. A little bit earlier than scheduled, so I'm going to set off down Cheapside to see how far I can hear the famous sound of the Great Bell of Bow. I've got to say that is a little bit impressive, the Great Bell of Bow, which has been rung since the 14th century as a curfew bell. Curfew, of course, from the French meaning to cut fire at nine o'clock because you know put your fires out at nine o'clock because all the buildings are made of wood not a good idea to fall asleep with your fires still on so the curfew bell was rung at nine o'clock every night for centuries now we still hear it of course for more ceremonial functions now and to mark out where the cockneys might actually be being born I have to say, it's not massively loud. I've only got about 200 yards away from it and it's already becoming a little bit distant. So by the time we get to Hackney, it could be a very distant memory. Honestly, I've just, got, I've just come down the road. Just, I can still see St Mary Le Beau, but for the life of me, I can't hear anything. Is it, is it me yet? You see the church down there? Oh my God, if there was anything like that in the 18th and 19th century, it was a very, very small little area. There can be very, very few cockneys. Okay, I've had an idea. That's the monument to the Great Fire of London. And you used to be able to get up to the viewing platform at the top. If I can get up there, I might be able to hear the bells over the sound of the other noises. So I'm now at the Monument to the Great Fire of London, uh, 1666, and I have to say that I've all but given up on hearing the sound of bow bells. The sound you can hear there is bells, but it's not the ones that we're after. So uh, while we're here, I have to say that um, the 17th century in England was not an uneventful time. We had the uh, publication of the folio versions of Shakespeare, the English Revolution, the deposition of Charles I, uh, and then the restoration of Charles II, the publication of Principia Mathematica uh, by Isaac Newton when he described the laws of gravity. But in London what we've chosen to commemorate of course is the Great Fire when everything burnt down. Uh, so yeah, that's what we did. Uh, I would go up there to check on the bells, but unfortunately it's closed. So I'm now in Bishop's Gate, which uh, is one of the ancient gates which marks the, marks the uh, eastern boundary of the City of London. I have to say that it's a bit noisy here. It's not too crazy, but I can't hear any bells. I can't hear, certainly can't hear Bow Bell. I guess the sound, the acoustic that was measured in 2012, I'll go there now to Brick Lane, 
sadly is, uh, has been defeated. So I'm now at uh, the junction of uh, uh, Sclatter Street and Brick Lane, which is the furthest measured acoustic impression from the sound of both bells that was taken in 2012. It's not too noisy here at the moment. I can honestly say I can't hear any bells. So there it is. That's the story of the sound of both bells in its journey from St Mary Le Beau in Cheapside out through the boundary of the City of London to Brick Lane in Shoreditch. So I don't I mean they should still be ringing them, they said they would until 8 but I definitely can't hear them. So that's the story. <laughs>